Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Becca. If you're new here, I do some art videos, some toy related videos, and then just some random stuff from my life. And today I'm doing a drawing of a snail and some flowers. So I draw this first in pencil, I sketched it out, just kind of giving it a rough shape. And then I filled it in with a fine liner in size 0 0.1. And then I'm going to go over it with some alcohol markers. So I'm going to use some. Uh, Pro markers, some Spectrum Noir markers, some Copic markers, and some from my local craft store. And I'm just going to work in a few layers and try to get the colors out nicely. And then I'm also going to go over it in the end with another fine liner in a thicker size to do some like, thicker outlines. And this is a style that I've been trying to work on recently. I really like the thin lines and on the th and the thick lines on the like with the Copic or alcohol markers. So I've been doing quite a lot of those. And of course I like drawing flowers and like animals and that kind of stuff. So this snail was super fun to do. I did draw a snail only in like fine liner uh, like a month ago that I really liked. So I based this drawing on that one. And it was fun to like build up the colors. I'm still kind of new to alcohol markers, so I'm not sure if my way of going about it is like the optimal optimal way or like the best way to do it. But so far it's been working okay. I'm still learning how to work with the different brands of markers and like how to match the colors and how to do the shading. But this ad drawing I really actually like. Uh, I'm one of those boring people that are very subconscious with my art. I guess a lot of people are, but I'm starting to like learn how to deal with it and kind of accept what I do and see it as a part of a process. I have always been very insecure and I haven't really dared to take risk or try out things because I'm so scared of failing. Uh, and I've always been one of those people that was like, oh yeah, I can paint some stuff, but I can't draw because I have very like shaky lines and I haven't really practiced drawing. So of course I wasn't really good at it, uh, but I was always scared to like try to do it because I didn't want to fail. I didn't want other people to judge me or like make fun of me. I don't think people would make fun of me, but I just feel, felt, 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 felt that way. Uh, so for me, trying like to post these random art videos is quite hard sometimes because like if you aren't well familiar with my channel, I do like toy reviews and collections and such, and I don't feel judged the same way because doing unboxings and review is kind of straightforward. Uh, sure, people might not like the videos, but I don't take that like super to heart but when it comes to like your creative stuff and like learning stuff and showing stuff that I've made it's a bit more sensitive and I'm always worried like oh this isn't good enough nobody's going to see this everyone gets think like this sucks so it's always been hard for me to do that uh, even if I like try to be like artsy and stuff so I've been working on that a lot and like posting my sketchbook tours uh, here on YouTube have helped me a lot because then I can both show other people like my progress and also like those really ugly sketchbook pages or those like weird animal portraits with weird eyes that yeah all that weird stuff that I don't actually want to show people because I'm scared of them saying like oh everything sucks uh, I'm showing those to be more comfortable with my process that's just a little quick uh, like here's my take on my art so i'm learning to get better on that one of the other things that i've been doing a lot is to make a solid color background and then do some white doodle on top of that so you can see me doing like these little swirly circly things on this teal background and i really like how it looks right now it looks very messy and that's where the thicker fine liner outline is going to come in and like really amp that up and separate the background from some of the items in the picture. So I've been doing a lot of these. I've actually almost filled my new pad of uh, Copic, no, alcohol mark paper. I'm saying Copic because I just 
gotten into Copic specifically recently. And they're all, but anyway, I've almost filled like the whole paper pad, which is super excited. Granted, they're only A5, so like one drawing takes not that long. This particular drawing took an hour and 45 minutes, and this is like sped up a billion times. So yeah, uh, it takes a bit longer than maybe some other things. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm a fast drawer or painter. I have no idea. But I really like this snail. I like the flowers. I like the background. I like all the green colors. I've recently gotten a lot of green <laughs> green pens, so I'm super excited to use that. And hopefully I will be able to share some more drawings and art and stuff in the future. But for now, thank you for watching and I do hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Take care. Bye.